Chapter. Inventory Management. Key Terms. Formulary. A list of medications approved for use. Closed Formulary. A limited list of approved medications. Open Formulary. A system that allows a pharmacy to use any prescribed medication. Inventory. A list of goods, or items, a business uses in its normal operations. Therapeutic equivalent. Pharmaceutical equivalents, that produce the same effects in patients. Perpetual inventory. A system, that maintains a continuous record of every item in inventory, so that it always shows the current amount of stock on hand. Point of sale system, or POS. An inventory system, in which the item is deducted from inventory, as it is sold or dispensed. Reorder points. Minimum, and maximum stock levels, that determine when a reorder is placed, and for how much. Turnover. The rate, at which inventory is used, generally expressed in number of days. Storage. Drugs must be stored, according to manufacturer's specifications. Most drugs are kept in a fairly constant room temperature, of 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of refrigeration, should generally be 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Freshness. Medications should be organized, in a way that will dispense the oldest items first. Spoilage. Inappropriate storage conditions, or expired products, automatically determine that a product is spoiled, since in either case, the chemical compounds in the drug may have degraded. Controlled substances. These substances, are shipped separately, and checked in by a pharmacist. A special order process, must be used for Schedule II substances. Consignment stock. High-cost medications, that a pharmacy does not pay for, until a patient purchases them. Automated Dispensing Cabinet, or ADC. A device, that dispenses medications at point of use, upon confirmation of an order, that has been communicated from a centralized computer system. Automated Dispensing System, or ADS. There are many types of automated dispensing systems, whose functions may vary somewhat. Some are designed for retail prescriptions, while others are designed for hospitals, using unit doses. Unit Dose Packaging A package, containing a single dose of a medication. Database A collection of information, structured so that specific information within it, can easily be retrieved, and used. Wholesaler more than 75% of pharmaceutical manufacturers' sales are directly to drug wholesalers, who in turn resell their inventory to hospitals, pharmacies, and other pharmaceutical dispensers. They are government licensed and regulated. Purchase order or PO number. The number assigned to each order for identification. Drop shipments. Lower volume, high cost medications, shipped on an as needed basis, directly from the manufacturer, and billed through the wholesaler. Key concepts Inventory management. Good inventory management ensures that drugs that are likely to be needed are both on hand and usable, not expired, damaged, contaminated, or otherwise unfit for use. An open formulary is one that allows purchase of any medication, that is prescribed. A closed formulary, is a limited list of approved medications. 
formularies must be routinely reviewed to evaluate newer products, as well as safety profiles for current medications. A perpetual inventory system maintains a continuous record of every item in inventory, so that it always shows the stock on hand. Turnover is the rate at which inventory is used. Drug reorder points are maximum and minimum inventory levels for each drug. Ordering. More than 75% of pharmaceutical manufacturers' sales are directly to the drug wholesalers, who in turn, resell their inventory to hospitals, pharmacies, and other dispensers. In an online ordering system, if an order can be filled as ordered, a message from the supplier will automatically confirm the order to the ordering system. The system automatically assigns to each order a purchase order number for identification. Good ordering practices assign separate personnel for ordering and receiving steps or processes. Receiving and storage. Most medications are received from the supplier in bulk stock bottles. Barcodes are used to quickly identify a product. Accuracy is essential in checking medications received from suppliers. Medications should be organized in a way that will dispense the oldest items first. Drugs must be stored according to manufacturer's specifications. Most drugs are kept in a fairly constant room temperature of 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of refrigeration should be 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. In hospitals and other settings, medications are stocked in dispensing units throughout the facility that may be called supply units or automated dispensing machines or cabinets. Returns and disposal. Reasons for returning products can include overshipments, damaged or expired products, or changed needs. Inventory spoilage due to time or storage conditions may cause chemicals in medications to break down and result in lost potency or changed function. Federal legislation requires safe disposing of non-returnable medications. Special Inventory Items Ordering and Receiving Schedule 2 Drugs must be done with a DEA Form 222. Controlled substances are shipped separately and should be checked in by a pharmacist. Schedule 2 substances may be stocked separately or with regular stock. Their stock must be continually monitored and documented. All controlled substance stock must be continually monitored and documented. Safety data sheets, or SDS, for hazardous substances, such as chemotherapeutic agents, indicate when special handling and shipping is required. Some high-cost medications are on consignment, meaning the pharmacy does not pay for them until the patient purchases them.